Well, Mayor Mike, welcome back uh, to Mayor's Monday. Things seem a little more crowded down here uh, than they have been the last few months. Your, uh, your city, beautiful thing about Stevens Point, every September you grow by about 3,000 residents or so. Uh, I think it's a little bit more, than, more that. than that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but so yeah, students are, are coming back. School is starting um, for the university and all of the, the public and the private schools here. Uh, so we want to remind people that you're going to have an awful lot of new people um, adjusting to our community and trying to integrate into our community. Be patient. Uh, you'll see people that don't know where they're going, so they may drive a little slower or maybe turn down a wrong way. Hopefully they do it safe. Um, but they have to they have to acclimate. And we, as uh, year-round citizens, have to acclimate too because this is new for us, um, and we want to be welcoming and respectful to those new members of our community. And we want to remind those new members of the community too that they're entering neighborhoods that have been, you know, uh, lonely and quiet almost for for the past three months so um be respectful of other people's property and and uh and their peace and quiet and invite your neighbors over get to know everybody mm -hmm. um and we'll have a great new school year yeah absolutely and uh you know when those uh, students come down here to stevens points you know a lot of them you know sometimes they go home on the weekends yes too but mm -hmm. you know you get the adventurous ones too that they want to see what's what there is to see down right. here in Stevens Point what does I mean that message for those that may want to be wandering you know what is it that Stevens Point has to offer those students we've got so much and, and first of all we want to thank those students for choosing Stevens Point uh, we're really proud to have them here but we've got a beautiful riverfront you know we've got all the iconic things everybody wants to do a brewery tour or go down to Belts or Carl D's and get some ice cream um, acclimate. Take a take a stroll. Either ride your bike or or, or take a walk around uh, the different areas of town to see what we might be able to offer. We've got some great niche markets uh, right downtown. The market on Strong's has uh, some great food products. Uh, the co-op on Fourth Avenue this, uh, has all sorts of products. So if you need to do your grocery shopping, and of course we've got Triggs and Metro Market and all the bigger stores as well. Um, take a stroll down Main Street and go veer off on those side streets to see those niche shops. Pabst Point Area Bicycle Service uh, is a great place to you know, get your bike fixed if you're downtown or, or we've got uh, up on campus cycle. There, there's all sorts of places. Just do a little exploring, but do it safely, do it respectfully, and try and pay attention uh, You know, to one-way streets. We've got a few of those in town. We've got some um, uh, high traffic intersections, but uh, be careful and do some exploring, and we're, we're happy to have you here. Yeah, absolutely, and it's going to be another great school year for the University of Wisconsin. It certainly Stevens is. Point, and we're, we're certainly looking forward to that. Uh, also looking forward to, it was a kind of a, a big announcement from Century last week. I know, mm -hmm. I know you don't have the exact uh, details on it yet, but just tell us what you can what you do know about what they're planning to add to Stevens Point as well. Well, uh, and that's a, it was a great announcement, right? So they're really reinvesting, or continuing to reinvest in our community. They've been a strong partner for generations. Um, and what they're doing is they're putting up a new 63-unit um, hotel on their property over at Century World, uh, which is world-class golf course. You know, we this past summer we recently hosted the USGA Junior Girls Golf Championship. Um, so it's a destination golf course. It makes sense uh, to have a hotel on property where they can uh, golf, go back to their room, grab a bite to eat at PJ's if they need to, um, and explore the city from that area. And uh, the Convention and Visitors Bureau is always telling me that we don't have enough rooms to handle all the events that we should be having. Mm -hmm. uh, and this will add to that inventory. Plus, hotels generate room tax. Room tax is reinvested into tourism-related activities so there is literally no downside to this. Yeah, absolutely. So from what I understand, it's a property that you know kind of had been closed off, and now mm -hmm. you're basically opening it to uh, to the public like this. And like you yeah. said, sixty rooms. Maybe that doesn't sound like a lot. It's not a gaudy number, but it no. can make a difference sometimes when you are applying for those events. Right, and they had a residency center, which was basically used for Century employees and their guests uh, when they came to the world headquarters here in Stevens Point. But uh, opening it up to the public, I think, is a big advantage because you can fill those rooms. And, you know, when people come here to golf, as I said, um, they can stay right on the property. It's, it's literally a 200-yard walk to the golf course. No, that's a drive. 
for me. Yeah. That's that's a that's a one wood for me. Yeah. Oh, one wood, so, different kind of drive. Yeah, yeah. different kind. They can of drive thing. to the golf course. I like yeah, that. Abso- absolutely, <laughs> and uh, that's that's neither here nor there. Though that probably just means I need some training from those pros at Century. You World. know, I'm going to have to suggest that instead of leaving mints on the pillows in the hotel, mm-hmm. they could leave golf balls. <laughs> you can never have too many of those. Never that's what I hear. Too many of those, yeah. absolutely. Especially if, again, if you're somebody like me. Shanking it left, shanking it right, overcorrecting. <laughs> Those things tend to get lost. See, I get tired watching golf, so <laughs> it, that doesn't really work for me. But, um, you know, another thing coming up this weekend is mm-hmm. the Pacelli Panacea. And that is kind of the, the signal to the end of summer, if you will. Um, the Panacea is over at Pacelli High School, and it's a nice community event. I love the bake sale. They've got some, uh, they got a chicken dinner there. So if you're bored this coming weekend, uh, you're still not having enough of that relaxation from from Labor Day weekend, come on down to the Panacea and and, uh, try your hand at some of the games or get yourself some baked goods. Yeah, again, for those that don't don't know what that is, or somebody even like me that's not from from the area naturally, just give us an idea what uh, what this event is for the the school down there. Yeah, well, it's it's a large fundraiser, really, is what it is, but it's kind of like a mini fair. Uh, we had the Rochelle Fair this past weekend over Labor Day, and uh, they've got the 4-H buildings and the, the Demolition Derby. We don't have those things, but there's carnival rides, carnival games, um, and then all sorts of things going on in the school with their chicken dinners and the bake sale, uh, just trying to raise money for the school system. Yeah, and so another just great community event and a reason to it bring is. people together around around great food. I mean, that's really all you need. Food right? is really the key, isn't it? Yeah, uh. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and, and again, speaking speaking of food, you've already mentioned you know some of the great downtown uh, establishments, mm-hmm. but I mean, even just something I noticed, you know, driving in here, you're, we've talked a lot about Division Street yep. and the revitalization there. We've got some construction going on in that area as mm-hmm. well. Uh, talk about that and what that brings to the campus and again uh, you know what you might be looking for in the future well what we're really doing there is is creating something of a more walkable neighborhood on campus or near campus and it's not just for campus the 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 year-round residents utilize that too but the division street corridor has always been almost um kind of like an industrial feel right um Mm -hmm. it's not very walkable um it's kind of spread out you've got a big expanse of concrete one of the things that we're looking at doing is is figuring out a way to bring those buildings closer as development or redevelopment happens, bring them closer to the road rather than having a road and then a big expanse of parking lot, like with the Kmart site, uh, which you probably noticed, they're, they're starting to yep, tear absolutely. that down, they have to, their asbestos removal. So that project's moving along for student housing, as well as the retail component that's gonna be much closer to the Division Street corridor. Uh, finding ways to make it a little more um, neighborhood feel Mm -hmm. is something that's been in the master plan now that we have uh, created so any new development we're going to want to bring that closer to the road at some point in the near future and then by near i mean the next five years or so um, that road is going to require a reconstruction so there will very likely be a redesign of that road Um, it's it's business 51 so it's the main business corridor Um, so we don't want to make it a neighborhood road uh, but we do want to make sure that Traffic isn't going too fast because a lot of people clo- cross there, especially you know Fourth Avenue, Franklin Street. Those students uh, and residents crossing there, we want to make that safer, and we've done a few things over the years to do that. The Cooper Motor site, I know they've done some asbestos removal in there, so I think something's going to be moving along there quickly. We now have the Burger King built. Everybody's mm-hmm. waiting on Taco John's, but that's coming. Uh, that, that's still in the works. And uh, just general redevelopment. So if anybody wants to see that master plan, it is available on our website at stevenspoint.com, and you can search for the Division Street Plan, mm-hmm. uh, and you should be able to find it. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things that I noticed just I mean, coming in you know, here today. You know, obviously, their, their construction, there's areas mm-hmm. where it's down to one lane. But I, I noticed, okay, there's something going on over there. We've got something going on over here on the right side by the by the old National Bank. Oh, hey, yep. there's Burger King. I've never <laughs> noticed Noodles and Company there yeah. before. It's really, you know, in the 18 months or so that we've been doing this, it's really starting to take on a different feel. And I guess that's something yeah. I noticed today on the way down. Well, good. I'm glad that people are noticing it because yeah. that's kind of our goal, right? Right. Um, the redevelopment has been happening kind of. It's, I wouldn't say quietly. We're, we're certainly not doing anything secretively. We're, we're, we're building slowly and smartly. Of course, that's not the right word. I'm, I'm going to allow it. <laughs> smartly. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, but th- that's what we're trying to do. So we don't want to grow for the sake of growth. Um, that's sprawl. Um, this inner redevelopment 
is a big component, but cities also have to grow. So there is some growth on the outskirts, but it's not just growing for the sake of growing. Uh, we want to make sure that it fits our community. And we have, believe it or not, it doesn't make headline news, but we have turned down developments because they weren't a right fit for our community. And I think it's starting to show. Mm -hmm. uh, you're starting to see some of those different areas of, of the city um, pick up a little bit. And I'm glad you noticed that coming into town because that's one of the areas, of course, that we're focusing on. We, we also keep a focus on downtown and the west side. We're doing a few things there. Uh, and then, of course, the Far East Side and then the, the East Side, uh, everybody sees those things going on. There's a lot of really cool things happening in Stevens Point, and maybe they don't get enough attention, but I'm glad you noticed it. Yeah, absolutely. That's what, we're, that's what we're here for, to pick out the little <laughs> things like that and, and talk about those things that don't always get attention. Well, you know, we've got thousands of new people yeah. coming into the city, too, and, and they're going to notice it. They won't notice the difference because this will be the first time, maybe, mm -hmm. that they've seen it, but... Um, uh, I, I like the fact that they're all going to be able to appreciate it. Absolutely. Something to offer for those uh, the students and the residents, of course, that have been here a, a long time. A lot right. to be proud of here in Stevens yep. Point. As always, we appreciate the time. And again, we look forward to, to chatting again next month. We'll see you next month.